Hey guys, Joshua Godamu here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to do bullet ricochets for Gundam Father a piece. And so, usually I send my co editor's files, and this one is called, let's see where it is, Xeon Tank. Now, as you can see, there's a tank that's slowly moving, and then there's a black mark right here. Might not be able to see that all so well. So I'll zoom in. And then there's another black mark, another black mark that show up, another black mark. These are the bullet holes. And when each bullet hole hits, it needs sparks. And so we're going to go back to our first one, which is number 0332. If we look at it, we see that there are no bullet holes on the tank, so we don't have to do anything with that one. There's no bullet holes on the second picture, or the third picture, but there on the fourth picture a bullet hole appears. So we right click and edit with GIMP, and it's going to take a second to open up. But what we're going to do on this file right here, we're going to do with every single hole that shows up, when it shows up. So uh, it's pretty important, but you have to keep track of which holes you've already done because you don't want to make sparks reappearing. Like, you know, bullets not going to hit usually twice in the same place unless it's close range. So getting bumped up pretty fast for us already. We got our magnifying glass. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Get our magnifying glass. And we zoom in on that bullet hole. There we go. We want our sparks brush, which is down here. And the brushes. Sorry if it's blurry. I have tried screen recording this before and it just never really works out. That's it. That's all you have to do. And zoom out just to make sure that it looks good. we go and hit save up here we always want to make it 100% quality Just save it you can see GIMP saving down there this takes a little bit of detail work you know because you have to make sure that you got every black hole when it appears instead of late but um, it's not very hard, honestly. You don't need very big sparks. They're just bullets hitting the metal going into it. So we got picture 335, which we just did. And we'll have to go back and forth to see where a bullet hole did appear. And right there is where the bullet hole appeared. So, like the previous one, we right-click and edit with GIMP. This one's done saving, so we'll close it. We get the magnifying glass. Make sure it's on zoom in. And we don't really need the sparks bigger than the hole. We don't want it really smaller than the hole either, though. So see, that's a, that's a good size. And we just fill in that hole with the sparks. There's no need for wild amounts of sparks going out and flying off. Just just enough to show that metal hit. And like I said, you zoom out to make sure that uh, it's not too big or distracting. But I've done a, one, one animation like this already at the time, and this will be the second one. And they come out looking great. They look like bullets ricocheting off or hitting. And so you just repeat that step for every picture that a black hole appears. And you remember that you already got that one and you got that one so that you don't uh, end up doing them a second time. Our third picture, the hole's right here. You can tell that. By looking closely at the tank and just watching each picture. See our bullet hole, bullet, and then 
there's a hole that appears here. So we just do what we did in the last two, and eventually it fills up all of the holes. You have to watch out for uh, holes to hit in the background too sometimes because they will. Occasionally a bullet misses and hits a nearby building or whatever. But um, yeah, this is just a short little animation for the field test. So the tank gets shot a couple times and then falls apart. But uh, we, this is a technique used often on shields or mobile suits when they're being shot at or vehicles, whatever. And it's real simple. So that's the tutorial. Thanks for helping with the project. See you guys later.